Hi, my name is Jacob with SalesPad, and this is a short video on Purchased Line Editor. The Purchased Line Editor module allows users to look at any sales document with an attached PO and edit the quantity ordered, the requested ship date, and the ship to address on both the sales order and the purchase order without breaking the link between the two. We can open Purchased Line Editor two ways. We can do it from this tab, which I already have opened. You can do it right here. Or you can go to this drop down menu, go to Purchasing, and select Purchase Line Editor. From here, you can search for your documents in four different ways. You can just search for the sales document, you can search by sales batch, you can search by vendor, or you can search by the purchase order number. I'm just going to do a blank search to bring up all the sales documents that have links. So now we have a view of each sales document lined as a purchase order link to it. You can see on the right side that some of these have green on the PO. That means that the PO has been fully received. Over here on the left side, you'll see green check boxes. That means that the quantity matches the amount received. We see a yellow one. It means that the quantity received does not match the quantity on the line. So in this case, it was over received. So let's say that a customer has decided that they want 10 of these HD30s rather than the one. Normally what we'd have to do is go into the sales document, break the link between the document and the PO, change the quantity on the sales document, then open up the purchase order, change the quantity there, and then reestablish the link. But with Purchase Line Editor, all we have to do is come in here to the quantity, change it to, say, 10, hit Tab, and then hit Save. And now we've updated the quantity on both the purchase order and on the sales document. We can do this for a couple other fields as well. So we can do it for the requested ship date. So I'm going to change this to 2013. And let's say this order doesn't need to go to Tom George anymore. Let's say it just needs to go to their primary shipping address. So we'll just change this to the primary. Hit OK. Tab off again. And as soon as we save, it will make those changes to both of those documents. That ends my video on Purchase Line Editor. Thank you for watching. We have many more available on our website at www.salespad.net.